a picture of Devon charm. Hillisden House at the eastern end of the county on a lovely day, flying the, wait a minute, Chinese flag. That's because Hillisden is hosting a party of Chinese keen to find out about hunting, shooting and fishing. Maybe the vanguard of many billions who want to give it a go. And there is an English hunting, shooting and fishing contingent here keen to find out what it's like introducing the Chinese to their sports. Here is the man who put the weekend together. And more and more of them are coming to England to get into schools and to universities and to businesses. And I thought it was a great opportunity to understand the British way of life and to see what we do when we're not just working. These, uh, these activities that we do are very much part of the, the fabric of our culture in the countryside. So we're giving them an exposure to all of the things we do. That's uh, with, uh, with shotguns, with uh, clay pigeon shooting. They get exposure to how to cast a fly with uh, fly fishing. And then we'll even put them on a horse uh, and uh, take them around the park if they've never been on a horse before. Uh, and then on top of that, we introduce them to the wildlife that we have. So for many people who have been living in the cities, who don't get the first-hand experience of simply just feeding ducks or stroking the sheep, or even going out and feeding one of our pet deer, it gives them a real chance to uh, engage with nature, which perhaps they wouldn't have a chance before. The first Chinese character we have to meet is Paco, a six-year-old boy and the apple of his father's eye. And the first piece of countryside Paco meets is Hazel the deer. Well, Hazel, Hazel was an orphan deer whose mother died last year. And we raised her for, uh, as a baby and bottle fed her. And for the first six months of her life, she lived in the kitchen with us and would even sit on the sofa. But then as she got bigger and bigger, we found that wasn't really suitable, so she had to go out into the, into the park. Everything is about photos. Maybe it's the strangeness of what they're all up to, but nothing goes unsnapped. Day one, R1, straight off the aeroplane, they get instruction in how to shoot. Paco is a bit little to be able to pull the trigger. It's too long for him. But he lands himself a role launching the clays. Yeah, but don't press it until we're ready, will you? Um, well, today, I think it's great for us to get together. I mean, it's not only that I get a chance to meet new friends, uh, but at the same time, it's, it's a very rare opportunity for, for us uh, to be coming from uh, where we are from, from, uh, from, from this outside of the world, to, to enjoy the, uh, the great British uh, countryside and the great summer. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's very educational, very enjoyable, and, and, and it's, it's just great. <laughs> Hello, Some of the Chinese take to it naturally. Some have more trouble connecting lead and clay. You know, this is really a classy, you know, traditional way. You know, to me, it's uh, I think to all of us, it may be the first. So, do you like shooting? Do you like uh, yeah. Do you like shooting? But, um, what do you like about shooting? What's fun about it? Pressing the button. Can you tell me that in Mandarin? No. I don't know. <laughs> As you can see, I have a special gift with children. Next stop is the lawn for casting practice. Again, they get a brief introduction to fly fishing in all its forms before trying to land a piece of fluff in a hoop. Chatting with them earlier, they were saying you know, in China fishing tends to be a, a hobby for old men. But obviously in England, it's been the sport of kings and around the world, presidents, musicians, um, and fly fishing is, is very much different to sitting on a bank under a green umbrella. It's not all clay pigeons and plastic hoops. They get to give field sports a go for real at a local trout fishery, and they do well. Also visit a gun shop, lads of Crediton. Guns are banned in China, so this place is a revelation. Uh, a shop like this, could, could you imagine this shop in China? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> because gun is forbidden in China. <laughs> I don't think that right at the moment there's any sales of guns in China. I don't think they allow guns, but if that, if that did come, we would be sold out in a day. And so would everybody else be, I think. 
Fashion is popular in China and English country clothing will have to do more to appeal to this market. As for Paco, he liked the deer, he found the casting boring. He liked the Austin 7, but grown-ups who go fly fishing are not as interested in Paco as Paco would like. Oops, the little tyke. But that might be a step too far. He tries to cover up his crime. It may have cost an ancestral fishing rod, but the weekend goes down well with the Chinese guests. Last night was all about when we're we, when we going to come back in the summer and try this again and bring our friends. So it's been really successful. For more about Hillesden and Mike's mission to bring field sports to the Chinese, go to hillesden.com.